All right, guys, what is going on? So I'm out here on a run and I had some thoughts and ideas and some things that I really wanted to share with you. Um, don't have my GoPro with me. I have just my phone, so you're going to have to bear with me with the video quality, but I don't think you guys are going to really care too much about that. I think you're really here for the information. I wanted to take a few minutes of your time to give you guys a few tips on how you can increase not only your run time for the ACFT, but really your ACF T score all together, all right? But we're gonna maintain the emphasis for this sake of this video on improving your run. Quick background real quick. I, I'm gonna say this just to give myself some validity, all right? So a reason for why you should listen to me. First of all, I'm an avid runner, an avid PT person, and I'm also a personal trainer. I own a fitness business, but all that to the side, I just maxed my ACFT a few days ago, all right? So I, I just have a little bit of knowledge on this that I really do want to impart on you so that you can do the same thing. All right, hopefully that was enough buy-in for you guys. I really do think you should listen because these things actually do work. All right, here we go. I've got five huge tips that any of you, regardless of your skill level, will benefit from and be able to increase your run if you actually follow these things. Before I forget, you don't forget to hit like and subscribe on this video. It's really doing me a favor when you guys do those sorts of things, helps with the algorithm, all sorts of things. And it just shows me that you guys are actually interested in this topic. It motivates me to make more videos just like this. So don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so that's out of the way. So let's get into these five tips that I got for you. Number one, you definitely wanna get used to running further, okay? I know the ACFT has you running for two miles, two miles for time, got it. Check Raj, but you need to be running further and get used to running further than just two miles, okay? That's like the minimum, two miles. Your average runs, when you're out there just going on a nice jog, you should be running at least three miles. And if you're somebody who's not used to running this far, no less than five miles. Five miles is easy for you, then go ahead and run eight miles. Moral of the story is, the more you get used to running longer miles, the less of a threat a two mile is gonna seem to you. So it's really, not only are you building endurance physically, you're building endurance mentally. So longer runs, all right? Number two, speed workouts. No more than once a week, all right? One time out of the week, you need one of your run days to be focused on speed improvement. That's gonna be sprints, fartleks, or going out there and running a mile or a two miler for time. Really a better way to phrase that is you should have one day out of the week where you're maxing out your effort towards your run training. And again, don't do that any more than one time a week because if you do, now you're just teetering on overtraining, you're not giving yourself enough time, your body enough time to heal itself and actually see improvement, okay? So once a week, focus on speed training, got it. Number three, start getting out there after your strength workouts and knocking out a quick run immediately afterwards, especially after your leg days. This is gonna help you and your body get used to lactic acid buildup so you won't feel as sore over time if you train this way. And going on a quick, nice, easy run after your strength training workouts is just gonna increase blood uh, flow to the muscles that you just overused, right, if you're <laughs> training correctly. And it's gonna supply those muscles with the additional oxygen and nutrients that it needs to initiate the repair process. So you're actually doing yourself a favor if you're looking at, if you're somebody who's looking at muscle building. Just don't go too far, all right? But definitely get used to running after strength training workouts. Not only that, but we all know, if you're a soldier anyway, that the ACFT, you're doing all that strength training beforehand and the last thing you do is a run and that's why you feel like shit by the time it comes to the run because you're just not used to training that way. So force yourself to train that way, get used to it, and when it comes down to game day, it's no problem. Run should be the easy part, right? Okay, number four, you cannot skip your leg days. The best runners train leg days pretty often, believe it or not. Now I'm not saying go out there and just, you know, lift super heavy all the time, but you definitely need to be keeping activation on your leg muscles because that's gonna help you to avoid injury and assist with activation of those muscles for a longer period of time as you're out there doing your run. Not only that guys, but if you don't train your legs and you're out there listening to what I'm telling you in this video, out there running more and more, you're eventually gonna run your leg muscles off and you're just gonna look like a chicken running around. So don't do that to yourself. Train leg day. No, but seriously guys, make sure you're training leg day. It's gonna help you to avoid injury and it's gonna increase your overall performance, all right? So don't skip leg day. And number five, all right, this one, I get a lot of uh, contradictory remarks on when I give this advice out to people, but I'm telling you from somebody who's, ex who's experienced in this and how it's worked for me over the years, I've seen massive improvement from this. 
run with added weight. What I mean by that, run with a weighted vest or a plate carrier. All right, you guys got those, I know you do. Run with your rucksack every now and then. Get used to running under load. But to caveat on that, I am gonna throw a caveat on that. Don't go too heavy, all right? I would start off with something like 10 pounds until you get used to it. And you really do need to focus on your form when you're running with extra weight. I mean, you should be focusing on your form all the time, but it's especially true if you're gonna go out there and do a run with some added weight on yourself. Otherwise, you're just begging for an injury. All right, I would hate for that to happen to you, especially if you were just trying to listen to my advice, right? I can't express enough how much moving under load, running under load like that will help you to increase your cardiovascular endurance. You just gotta be careful as you do it. That's, that's the disclaimer there, be very careful. For y'all's awareness, I usually run under load probably about once every week and a half to two weeks, something like that, so it's not too often, but it's just enough where I'm making sure to stave off overuse and overtraining and still getting to see the benefit and healing up appropriately in between my running under load sessions, okay? So that's just a, that's, that's what Gritty Soldier does if you're trying to replicate. All right, guys, those are my five tips, all right? You can take it or leave it. I highly suggest that you take it if you try those things out. If you have any additional questions or I wasn't clear enough on anything, or if you have some tips yourself you wanna share with the group, please, by all means, drop that in the comments for other people to see. These videos are supposed to be helpful for any, anybody that sees them, all right? So the more knowledge we have, the better. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Again, sorry about the quality. You know, I wasn't expecting to make a video, but I had it on my mind. I didn't want to waste the opportunity. I want to be able to share that knowledge with you guys. So hopefully you got something out of it. If you do feel like you got something out of it and you like this video, you like this sort of stuff, please, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Helps me out a lot. Appreciate it. But besides that, guys, uh, this filming thing is slowing me down. So I got to get back to it myself. So for now, I've got nothing else for you. And I'll see you on the next one.